STATE OF TEXAS SAYS MORE CHILDREN ARE LEAVING THE FOSTER CARE SYSTEM THAN ENTERING. AND FOR THE FIRST TIME, MORE THAN 6,000 CHILDREN HAVE BEEN ADOPTED IN A FISCAL YEAR. KAMR LOCAL 4'S KAYLEE GREEN SAYS THAT TREND HAS BEEN SEEN ACROSS THE STATE, INCLUDING HERE ON THE HIGH PLAINS. SHE JOINS US NOW LIVE IN STUDIO WITH DETAILS. SO KAYLEE, HOW ARE ADOPTIONS GOING HERE IN OUR REGION? Well, Jackie, November was National Adoption Month. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services says 400 children were adopted statewide, including 35 in our area. Here on the High Plains, the majority of children who have been adopted can be attributed to fewer removals from homes. That's giving Family and Protective Services more opportunities to find permanent homes for kids already in the system. Rebecca Robinson, the Foster Adoptive Development and Kinship Supervisor, says while foster families are extremely helpful in the short term, they're focusing on permanence for children. Every kid deserves that forever family, and it's, it's not about the family that's right now. It's the family that's there after they turn 18, and the family that will, you know, let them come home over Christmas and um, be with, and that's really what we try and find. Robinson says adoptions usually come from someone stepping up and adopting a child they already know, whether it's a family member, teacher, or a family they happen to know from church. Even so, Robinson says there's always a need for foster and temporary families. CPS is hoping foster children right here on the High Plains can benefit from the season's goodwill. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, thank you. Robinson says for those who can't adopt or foster children in need, they always welcome donations and volunteers to help out.